Seleka Flamer kit all finished. Let's give it a quick test. I won't um, rev it up yet until the customer's here because obviously we don't we don't rev the customer's cars while they're not here. So get the key. Ignition on. Put the on and off switch next to his standard switches. It's easy for him to reach then. Uh, we've earthed it, so when you turn it on, as it lights up, nice green colour, you can tell when it's on. Round to the back of the car. Nice strong spark. As you with our kits, they just supply the spark. Yeah, so it's down to the fuel and your exhaust gases to ignite the spark, and that's what makes the flame. Obviously, the richer the flame, uh, sorry, the richer the car's running, the bigger the flames, or the better the results you'll get. So, again, we wired this in to the uh, ignition fuse using a piggyback fuse, so we don't cut into any of your engine wire or anything like that loom. So basically, we've got that little piggyback fuse there into the ignition fuse. Let's put that cover back on. Get the right way. I think that cable hanging out there is to do with the guy's phone charger. Nice back on. So yeah, basically the way it's done was he kits on. Once that kit is turned on, you've got a constant spark. You haven't got to keep flicking the switch. It's just constantly going. So that's now off. Another reason why we put on the ignition fuse is so for example, you turn the kit on, if you've had it running and you forget to press the button, as soon as you turn the ignition off, the kit goes off. You see the lights going out. Comes back on like that. Was he? Turn it off. Ignition off. Try and turn it on when the ignition is off. It won't do anything. So that's it. That's all done. We wait for the customer now. We'll um, get the customer to warm the car up, and uh, yeah, we'll see what results we get. Right, I'll, I'll, we'll post some results up later. Take care. Bye bye.